the Joe Rogan experience. Let's tell everybody what's going on with your iPad. So because you had a stroke, you have oh, yeah. difficulty. The, do you have difficulty hearing or? Well, no, I can hear just I can hear just perfectly right, right now. Uh, and uh, but uh, th- there's just the, the one kind of a lingering issue. There's a lingering issue. Um, and, and sometimes I lose just a couple steps on time. And then now after that, that's the only thing. And thankfully, the stroke never touched my intellect things uh, uh but the but the stroke nearly killed me and again i don't uh but uh, i use captioning in situations just like this uh in interviews that's so that's why i can i can really make sure exactly what's being said uh, and then i can able to just participate if somebody wears the glasses it doesn't mean that they're illiterate it just means they just that's a tool that allows them to participate or drive or those things and it's that same thing and a lot of people across america use captioning to watch movies and TV, and that's really no different than that. So it doesn't affect your intellect, but it d- does affect your hearing? Is that what's going on? Uh, n- no, I, I can hear and I can listen to music. The difference with music, for example, is is that as long as there's muscle memory, I, I can I can remember all of those kinds of music things. But it seems unlikely at this point that it's, uh, they're not going to be any kind of new new favorites. Uh, emerging like that because so you essentially I, I can't, yeah, only I, can listen to the same old music forever. Yeah, no, it, it, it's yeah, it's it, yeah. It, I I mean, uh, all of the all the classics like you know Metallica, Motorhead, Motorhead, uh, the Cult, uh, all those kinds of things. Like I haven't lost any of you know the uh, Def Def Lep and those things. Well, and I I saw the the uh, the record of White uh, excuse me White Snake, um, yeah. <laughs> uh, but all those things. Yeah, no, I know. I mean, I mean, I think we're both in the fifties, right? And mm-hmm. you know, we grew up with yeah. with the, with the crew and and all those kinds of things. So um, uh, some some people might judge me based on my my taste on music, but <laughs> I mean, uh, that's that's kind of where. Listen, it's people are going to judge you no matter what. You're a big giant guy who wears hoodies and you're a senator. <laughs> like so, like no matter what, they're going to judge you. Who cares? But I'm just trying to like understand like what what is going on with the captioning because you you can hear, but so there's some sort of a disconnect between hearing and understanding. Like what is it? Yeah, yeah I wouldn't say it's necessarily disconnect. It's just it's it's just about being precise okay. on that, just to make sure that. So if you know, if like for an interview, just to make make sure of those things. Uh, so it, it's really just about captioning. Uh, it just it really it's just a tool no difference I mean for this this is like my my eyes uh, in the sense for glasses that it just right I understand it, so it yeah. just gives you a little bit more precision in what you're saying yeah and yeah, yeah. understanding what, what what was it like running for senator right after recovering from a stroke that had to be a nightmare yeah I, I don't recommend that <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I I don't recommend that because you seem to have recovered quite a bit Oh. Since then, oh yeah, no. Uh, but uh, during that time, you were really struggling. And- oh sure, Ab- absolutely. Like uh, it was, uh, uh, it was, uh, it was a rough uh, conversation after that. Um, uh, they they brought me into the hospital, and then I I went under, and then I I woke up, uh, and. They said they uh, they said hey uh, we got it we got it we got the clot the the clot that that essentially just but killed me, and I'm like oh that's good, uh, and then just kind of went back under, and uh, at, at that point I had no idea where we were at on those things, uh, and then I had um, the next morning I woke up, and then they uh, a doctor came on and he had kind of a a grim kind of a look on his face and things. And my dad was there sitting next to me at the bed. And I was like, well, hey, doc, I mean, what's, uh, what things, what do you think? What do you like? Uh, and he's like, well, um, you know, your, your, your heart is functioning at an incredibly low kinds of percentage. Uh, and, uh, and I'm like, well, um, uh, well, well, what do you, th- what, what do you think? And, and he was like, well, uh, you know, I mean, you know, there's, there's some is- issues, uh, and I'm like, well, are we talking, you know, maybe a year, a year kind of thing, and and like, mm. uh, and I'm like, um, and this was all while you were running for senate. 
Uh, yeah, yeah. This was uh, this was after this was after this was after this was uh, three days before the primary. Oh my god! Yeah, I was on my I was on my way to an event, and and my wife Giselle, she she's like, you're you're having a stroke because uh, they had that classic kinds of uh, where you know half of my face. I didn't know that, but it kind of just yeah, just slumped. Uh, yeah, and 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 then they hotlined me over to the hospital and. I wouldn't. I wouldn't have survived if we were in a different. I mean, there's parts of Pennsylvania, and that's a, that's part of the tragic. That uh, if I wasn't close to the uh, the kinds of hospital that I was, uh, it's a hundred percent that uh, I wouldn't have survived that. Wow. Uh, and it got me there in enough time, and they were able to. There was an expert there, and and I I actually had I I met that doctor that that literally saved my life. Uh, and I'm like, oh my God. Uh, and he usually wasn't based in that hospital. He was usually out of Delaware, but he happened to be there. Wow. And, and that, uh, and he was here to, to give me an, an award for, you know, be, you know, being that kind of a, an advocate for those things. I'm like, no, the, you, you deserve, you deserve the award on that. And, and, uh, that's what, incredibly what, lucky. Yeah. And, mm, and then, um, and then I, I asked, uh, really looking for like a countdown of like, well, what's the prognosis? And and I really, there wasn't much there on that. And I had to like, uh, was I going to sur- survive for long or, you know, what's that going to look? And then, of course, um, the entire majority on the Senate really was on the middle of that. And that's a big responsibility after that. And then uh, uh, so the the primary it happened, and and I actually had a you know, a really strong win, and I won all of 67 counties. Uh, uh, Pennsylvania has 67 counties, and we carried every county: uh, Ph- uh, Philadelphia, Pittsburgh, and all across Pennsylvania. Uh, but at that point, I had a responsibility. It's like, am I able to recover, or where a kind of when I'm, am I going to be okay? And I wouldn't recommend being in that in that situation. But I, I made a, a commitment. Uh, more than anything, I was more worried uh, about being being around uh, to be a dad. I mean, I have three I have three young kids, and my my wife. You know, she lived through all of this. So at that at that point, um, it it started. I was in the hospital for about ten days, Jeez. and yeah, and I start to get better and better. The, the strength started to come back a little bit, but I, it was still rough. And it was very very clear though that I had a capacity to. It's been impaired on on hearing and those kinds of interaction and those things. Uh, so, uh, but 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 that's the thing. But. But I had to decide by August 15th, and that's actually that's my birthday, ironically, that uh, if I, I step down uh, by then or before, then they're going to have to find somebody to replace me on the primary. And that was going to be my drop, uh, my dropout day on that. So what was the operation? How did they do it? How did they remove the clot? Uh, uh, well, it, it, it's. Uh, I, it's un, I mean, I had to originally, uh, I had to go back to, I have to learn how to, how to talk and speak. Uh, uh, you know, I went to a, a speech therapist and have interaction and those kinds of things. Uh, and my hearing and those kinds of things were still impacted by that. And they had to monitor my heart because it was, uh, it, it effectively uh, stopped. I found out after the fact that it actually stopped. And then uh, that my heart had to recover. So there was two kinds of things working there, you know, my, my heart. And then right before the primary, they walked in and they said, well, here, here's what I suggest. Here's what I suggest. Now, we are going to put a, a pacemaker. We're going to put in a pacemaker. And, uh, and we're like, hey, that's, that's the best thing. So they, they put that device right here. And for anyone, if you're not really what that is, a pacemaker, but that, that, uh, that manages your heart. You know, because I had a significant issue with AFib, and and that's really what what did that to my heart. And uh, they put that in, and then uh, that was that was um, that was right before the primary, and they put me under. And uh, I. Uh, so what year was this? Uh, 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 this was uh, twenty two. Twenty twenty two. 
And, and before you had this stroke, had you ever had any issues before with clotting or anything like that? Was this like not, a... Not with clotting, not with clotting. You know, my I have... For good, re- for good things and for, for bad things, my heart was just like my father's, you know, and he had an issue with AFib and he was in the hospital for... So it's a genetic. Yeah, a genetic. And, uh, uh, but uh, I didn't, I, it was never an idea. It was never an idea that uh, I was going to even having a stroke. That, that wasn't part of the, at least my thinking. I, I knew that I was in distress. You know, I could tell that my heart was... was 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 in problem and i was just going to get through this primary i mean there's a lot running on that mm-hmm. uh and then that's uh, that it didn't work out because the stroke hit three days before and and then that forced me uh and that put me on an incredibly different kind of a of a path after that and so where do they go in when they're removing the clot do they have to cut your skull open like how do they get it out of there uh they went up they went up uh uh, in your vein, in your leg, and they went up Whoa. in, and, and it's just—it's a remarkable technology that through that, your leg, yeah, all uh, the way up, up to your brain, and, and they just sucked it out, and they, wow, they, they actually had uh, an X Y an X ray or whatever, and you could see that hey, we got it out, and I actually got to see, uh, although I really was still kind of out of it, but that was the clot that that all but took uh, took my life, and uh, so. I mean, there there were a lot of things there. You know, suddenly your you know, mortality was kind of like put right there in front of it. Yeah. Uh, on and through that. Um, do they have any idea what caused the clot? Is there? Do they understand like what happened to you? I'm always my, my grandmother uh, had an aneurysm, and uh, it was a horrible situation. They didn't find her um, for several hours. Uh, afterwards, my grandfather came home and she wasn't in the house. And then he found her in the backyard. She had collapsed, and they gave her 72 hours to live. And she lived for 12 years like that. And it was horrible. My grandfather had to take care of her. It was, it was really, really rough. So I'm always like really concerned with that kind of stuff. Like I don't, like what causes it? Do they know? Uh, yeah. Well, it's. I, I mean, I had uh, for the first time in my life, and I hope it's the last time that I'm uh, confronted by this idea that the the doctors weren't a- able to provide any kinds of certainty, or it's like, oh yeah, man, you're going to be okay, or things are going to be okay. That that wasn't. Uh, so they uh, don't know what caused it. it well, I mean, hap- it, it was AFib, and 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 my heart weakened. And the stress of the of the primary and on the ongoing kinds of issues, uh, it was already weakened about that issue earlier, and everything kind of came together. And my, I guess my heart deteriorated to the point where that uh, that caused uh, the clot, oh. and then that, the clot that's what nearly took my, took my life. Whew. So then you have to go to work. So now you are an elected senator, and you have to go to work in the middle of recovery. Yeah, uh, it's. Uh, I, I I think. Uh, I, I mean, it, it's it's so diff. It's. Uh, I had a significant responsibility, uh, uh, to, to, to stay in that and, and winning through all of those things, uh, and that's that was uh, that was difficult enough. Um, it was an important conversation. And we had to run a campaign. We had to run a campaign uh, when I was, it was difficult uh, and I wasn't working at the kind of capacity that was necessary. Uh, and that's, uh, we had to run up to the, uh, the 15th of August to decide if we're going to stay in that because there's a lot riding on that. And you were also competing against Dr. Oz, which was weird. You know, this guy who's a celebrity doctor who's... At least a little shady. Uh, no, it it, uh, it it necessarily was the the. Yeah, I, I think uh, I you know so we were talking about captioning earlier right now, and I, uh, I I think we're having an issue with some of the 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 captioning right now here. Is it not showing up? Uh, yeah, they, I think there's a there's a little bit of a delay. So what I was just saying that it was odd that you were running against Doctor Oz and he was just kind yeah, of Doctor Oz. Yeah, I mean, uh, Dr. weird Oz. guy. Yeah, and and he's uh, he used to be you know people used to thought he was like really brilliant. I mean, he was yeah. like he was like an amazing kind of surgeon, uh, c- celebrity, and then he 
turned his career into like on TV. And then he started to pitch more kinds of bullshit. questionable kinds of things and kind of bullshit kind of stuff. Yeah. Uh, and I, I don't understand why somebody would would change uh, his reputation. I mean, he was really revered in, in that. Uh, and I was I wouldn't even be I would have been comfortable to him <laughs> operate on me. Uh, but uh, but he kind of lost that. And what was also pretty funny is that he clearly he lived in New Jersey. And <laughs> so we were like, hey, we, we need to use that and point out that. So.